I'm Anil Kumar and I'm back with cofunction identities. This time we are looking into obtuse angles. So I'll divide this page into four quadrants and then look into them one by one. In this particular video, I'm taking only obtuse angles. We have another video on acute angle cofunction identities. So to begin with, let's do it in degrees first. So this is 0 degrees for us, that is 90 degrees. Then we have 180 degrees, uh, 270 degrees, and come back to this as 360 degrees, correct? Now, if I have an angle, which is, let us say, let me take very simple figures. So let us say we have an angle here, which is, let us say, making uh, this angle let's use same color for terminal arm and the angles then I can incorporate many let's say let's take an angle of 100 curry. now for an angle of 100 degrees we'll find co-function identities N one more thing before we get into we know in this quadrant all are positive in this quadrant sine is positive in this quadrant tan is positive and in quadrant 4 we have cosine as positive that helps right now, if I have to write what is the co-function identity for sine of 100 degrees, you will say, well, we have to look for this angle, acute angle, which is 100 minus 90, simple, 10 degrees. Now, since sine is positive, it will be plus cos 10 degrees. But if I have tan of 100 degrees, in that case, tan is positive in quadrant 3, not in 2. So we are expecting a negative value and the acute angle, I mean, I should say 90 taken away from 100 gives me 10 and co-function is cot for 10, so we cot of 10 degrees. Perfect. So that is how we get in degrees when we have a point in quadrant 2. Now, let us consider a point in quadrant uh, 3. So in that case, let me take an angle which is, let's say, 200 degrees. So this time, I've taken an angle which is 200 degrees. Now, how do you find co-function for this particular case? Now, 200 degrees. So let us say, to start with, a tan of 200 degrees should be equal to what? We want to write this as a co-function identity. So we will look for 270 minus 200. You get the point, this angle. So that is cotangent of 270 take away 200, so 70 degrees. Since tan is positive, this sign will be positive. But if I have cos of 200 degrees here, cos is negative. So we are looking for a negative answer for sine of, of course, 70 degrees, right? Because that makes 270. So whenever we are talking about co-function identities, we are doing uh, theta plus or minus uh, 90 degrees or we are doing theta plus or minus 270 degrees correct that is what it is now let me take another example I'm just looking for another light color uh, let's say in this quadrant okay that's fine and let's take angle of 330 degrees for a change okay now if I take angle of 330 degrees then what is the angle which this makes with 270? Of course, 330 minus 270, right? So if I take away 270, what do I get? So it is 330 minus 270, right? So when I take away this, so 13 take away 7 is 6, 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees for the principal angle which we took as 330 degrees. So in this particular case, if I write cos of 330 degrees, I could say cos in terms of 60 should be equal to minus or plus. Oh, cos is positive. So plus here yeah, and sine of 60 degrees. You get the idea, right? However, if I use sine or tan, let me write tan here. Tan of 330 degrees could be written as minus cos of 60 degrees. I hope in degrees there is no problem, right? Adding, subtracting was very simple. Now let's take up uh, radius, okay? 
So let me take first example as a somewhere angle here. So that could be, let us say, uh, this is let us say, so in radians we are having this as 0, this is pi, this is, oh sorry, pi by 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi by 2, and that could be also considered as 2 pi. Correct? So let's take an angle of, let us say, 5 pi by 8, right? 5 pi by 8 will be, I mean, let me just draw a line here, and a bit longer, okay. So we are saying this is 5 pi by 8. 8. So we know 4 pi by 8 will be like 90 degrees. So it is more than that. Perfect. Uh, so what is the angle between these two? Well, this is 4 pi by 8. This is 5 pi by 8. So logic says pi by 8. So in radians, however, it is not that difficult. You get the point, right? Well, you could also do uh, pi by 8 minus pi by 2 and do your math to get 4 pi. I mean uh, pi by 8. You could do that also. So what I'm trying to say here is, now let's consider angles here. So if I write sine of 5 pi by 8, sine is positive, so we are looking for a positive thing. Co function of sine is cos and the angle here is pi by 8. So that's our answer. Correct? So that is how we can do it in radians also. Okay, so that is not that difficult. Let's take another angle here. Let's take this angle. Let me change this ink and okay, dark color. Okay, let's be black. Okay, this is dark indeed. So let's consider now an angle which is uh, more than an in quadrant this. Let us say 7 pi by 5. Okay, so we divide the pi into 5 portion. Total we have 10. We expect 7 to be here. Good job. So we have 7 pi by 5. And let's figure out what should be tan of 7 pi by 5 equal to. Now tan is positive. So it is definitely equals to positive. Cot of, uh, let's do the math this time. We have to find this angle. So this is 3 pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 5. So we'll write 3 pi by 2 minus 7 pi by 5. Good. So that should be equal to cot of 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 7 is 14. So 15 minus 14 is just pi divided by 5 times 2, 10. So we get cot pi by 10. So this angle is pi by 10 and therefore we can write tan of 7 pi by 5 as cot of pi by 10. Do you see? If you have however cos of 7 pi by 5, okay, that could be written as minus sign because cos is negative here and the same angle, pi by 10. You get the idea. So that is how we can actually do it in radians, okay. Let me take the last example and select some, some angle. Let's take blue itself, okay, okay, this will do. So let's take this angle as 20 pi by 11. Okay, so so let's say something like this, right? I'm just writing 20 pi by 11 as my angle, right? So that's scary. This angle is 20 pi by 11. Now you have to tell me what is cos of 20 pi by 11 as a co-function identity. Can you do that part? 20, not 2. 20 pi by 11. Well, it should be. Cos is positive, so it should be sine. And since we are looking for this, that means 20 pi by 11, take away 3 pi by 2. Do you get the point? 3 pi by 2. So then you get this angle, this angle, correct? And you can write co-function identity. So which gives you, in this case, sine of denominator is 11 times 2, which is which is 22 and here when you multiply 2 times 20 is 40 40 take away 33 gives you 7 is it okay so you get sine 7 pi pi yeah pi by 22 as your answer you get the idea i hope with this the concept of working is clear if i have tan 20 
pi by 11, it could be written as minus cot 7 pi by 22, right? So that is how we can write co-function identities. So whenever we are working with co-function identities, take care of the sign, right? All are positive, sine is positive, tan is positive, cos is positive in quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Second part is, you have to check the angle with reference to vertical line to write co-function identities, right? Not with the horizontal line. When you are checking angle with horizontal line, it is related acute angle. So co-functions are angles written with vertical line. That is kind of important. Therefore, we do either pi by 2 plus or minus or 3 pi by 2 plus or minus so that we get angle from the vertical line. That's the whole idea. I think we got it right this time. If there are still any difficulties, post your comments and uh, let's see how to solve them. Okay. Thank you and all the best.